all these variations of count we will learn in this video so for that we will be using the order table so let me query the table first we will be using the order table so let me run the table orders so we have an order table with three columns which are id price and order date and as you can see uh, in the price column we have a, a row where we have null value which means no value is present in that particular uh, row column combination let us start with count star So when we do count star, what happen is all the rows will get counted. Like when we want to find the number of rows in a table, we can simply use count star. Let me run this query and see. Let us see what the count star is giving. Uh, it should be seven because we only have seven rows here. I'm running this query. Now we have count star as seven. Also, we can give a column name as count star. Now let us move on to the next one, which is count one. I'm giving name as count one. Now let us run this query if we have any and see if we have any difference between count star and count one. Yeah, now we can see count one is also giving the same result. Uh, now uh, we can understand that count star and count one is same. See, we can use this interchangeably. It is not necessary that when we want to find the number of rows in a table, we only have to use count star. Uh, instead, we can use count one as well. Uh, there is no much difference in using count star and count one. But the performance might vary depending upon the uh, table size and and uh, database we are using. Once we, once we see the execution plan and all, it will be visible there. Like what is the speed uh, count star is taking? What is the speed count one is taking and all. Now let us move on to the next one, which is count uh, A, which is A, A is a constant. So let us do count as count A. Now let us run and see if count A is giving us a different result or not. Yeah, now we can see count star count one and count a is giving us the same result which is seven seven is the number of rows we are having in the orders table uh, count a is same as count one the only difference is that here we are using a as the constant and here we are using one as a constant even if i change this one to some other value like two and run this query we'll get the same result because one is acting only as a constant it is not necessary that we should always use one for simplicity we always use one now let me move on to the next one which is the column name uh, before that let me query the table orders once again now let us count the result, count the number of rows from the price column so the column which we are taking is price p r i c e plus Now let us see if there is any result. Uh, the, there is any difference between the result which the count price is giving us. Now let us run this. Along with the table let us run because with the result we can compare the table also. Now if you see the result we have count of the price as 6 because we have a null value here. Count is only counting the rows which does not contain a null value. So count price is giving us a different result uh, whenever we want to uh, find the number of uh, available values in a row we can use the particular column name along with the count if i use instead of this price if i use count id we'll get the same result as count star because all these rows are populated with data uh, let me run that query as well it will be more evident the column name is id 
as count id now let me run this entire query and let us see what count id is giving count id is giving us 7 uh, which is the same as count star count 1 count constant a etc now if we want to find the count of distinct elements uh, from a particular column we can use the particular syntax which i am going to use count of distinct i am using the column price as distinct price and giving the column name as new column name as distinct price so what uh, count of distinct will do is will count only the distinct values from the particular column that we are giving so here i am use uh, taking the column price uh, i haven't run the query uh, we will run it uh, before that see uh, this count distinct will only count the distinct elements which are present in the column here you can see 500 is repeating two times so this won't be uh, counted two times uh, 500 will be considered as a single value and it will be counted only one time now let us run and see what the result is now we can see that distinct count of distinct price is 5 uh, when we come to this price column we can see 101 300 is the second value 500 is the third value 50 is the fourth value and 500 is a repeating value so it won't get counted and coming down we have 700 which is the fifth value so the fifth five value five distinct values are present in the price column so these are the different variations of count that we commonly use in sql thank you